Hi everybody, I have my latte in my shitty kidney mug. I've got my bucket of fun. I've got my work planner and it is time to set this puppy up for January 2023. <sighs> I'm excited. I am excited to get this done. This last year has been pretty rough for me when it comes to work because I have gone into kidney failure and working for myself, especially in a job that requires me to be creative on command. Uh, it's been kind of difficult. So switching to this common planner from Sterling Inc. for my work planner, and I'm using the HB90 system in it, I do plan to use it kind of bullet journal style in the daily pages, but there is structure in the front, which I'm very excited about. So uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see a daily plan with me for when I start doing it that way. But in the meantime, let's get this set up for January, which is going to be a pretty intense month. I am starting dialysis training on the 9th. And so I will be at the dialysis center for about six or seven hours a day, five days a week for three to five weeks to learn how to do it at home. So my work life is going to be relatively truncated in this next month and a half or so. Talk supplies, then we will, I will show you the couple of updates since I did my 2023 setup, which I will leave linked below. First and foremost, my planner, which is the 2023 dated B6 full year common planner from Sterling Inc. I love this little thing so far, but I haven't really started using it yet. So we'll see how the paper and I get along. Although some of you rightly pointed out that I'm already getting a little interested in the paper after setting it up. So the pens I've got are all uni pin. These are fine line pens. I have uni pin pigment ink for just regular writing. And then I have oil based ink for stickers. And I got these because I heard that they're good with this kind of paper, but I'm actually liking them so much that I'm also using them in my main planner right now. I am on a year long no buy though, so I will not be buying any more pens this year. Stay tuned for videos of how many pens I just, I fucking have. This month I've got these highlighters. They're from a couple of sets of highlighters that I bought to review and then I never reviewed them. So that review, if you're interested in it, will come sometime in the near future, but I was going through my markers to start getting ready to film those collection videos and I came across them and I was like, well, balls, this is proof that I have bought too much shit. So these are from, these are the Aloha Stir highlighters. There's two packs. There is the Youth Pack and the Happiness Pack. These are the two that I have. They're very like kind of neutral looking highlighters. I don't remember which one goes with which set. Two of them go with one set, like one, whatever. Here we can use them in the pen test so you can see kind of how they look. I have not tried them on this paper yet, but they do go down very wet. So this will definitely be one of those, have to wait for them to dry before I can turn the page. But these are the colors I'm going with. There's a dark blue, a lighter blue, and a green. And the reason I'm going with these colors is because my patrons voted on the sort of overall theme I'm going to go with this month. They had voted to go with sea creatures for the whole year. To kick off January, we picked out the Dumbo octopus, which is very adorable. And if you want to know where you've seen one before, think about in Finding Nemo, the little tiny pink octopus friend who says you made me ink. That's a Dumbo octopus. I don't know how much doodling's going to happen on the daily pages, but definitely will be some doodling in here. And then I've got a handful of washi tapes, again, in similar colors to the markers and to the colors, like the Theme. I'm not going with full blown like color palettes like I did last year. Uh, I'm just picking some things that are interesting to me. So uh, there is that. I'm trying not to overdo it in this planner. And then I also have dot pads and such that I'm using in the colors of my Kanban board. This like pink is for my content goal. The yellow is for my art goal. And the tea, the tealy kind of turquoise is for my time tracking goal. And the time tracking is definitely the Pomodoro technique, time blocks, etc. is definitely going to be a major theme, a whole point of my HB90 system. And I'll leave the video about HB90 below as well. I also grabbed out one of the pencil boards that I have from previous years when in bullet journaling, when people suggested it'd be good for stamping. So I happen to have those. There's only been a couple of updates to this since I filmed that video. The first update is that I got my cover from Lauren Phelps Designs and I did use the heater trick, the blow dryer trick that she talks about on her Instagram to make sure that the cover fits this thicker planner. Uh, it is still pulling a little bit at the front cover, so I may hit it with another blast and then stick it under some books when I'm done with this setup before I start using it on the regular basis. But for the most part, I like how it is protecting 
uh, this little planner. I don't imagine I'm going to get another cover for this, especially now that I'm on a no buy year. And then I just slapped a sticker I found when I was cleaning out my office from Bonnie Christine. It says there's room for you. And I thought it looked really pretty with like the mauve color of the planner. The other thing that I did was I realized by putting this planner on that this uh, pocket that I had stuck here was not going to work there. So I peeled it up. Thankfully, it peeled up okay, relatively, and just moved it to here. I got these book darts in a, one of my last jet pen orders of the year to use as markers because this paper is so thin and I'm just sliding it into the side here. And I think that is the only other update I made to this book so far. Yeah, I do have some markers in here and everything for getting started with this setup, but uh, nothing, nothing substantial has been done yet. Have no fear that I will be doing like a quote cover page, but that's going to go into the daily pages. We're going to start with this monthly spread. Now I'm still figuring out how I'm going to use my monthly spread with both this planner and with my personal planner, because I have found that just copying over events from my Google calendar feels hella fucking redundant. But what I think at least to start this quarter off or to start this month off because it's an information gathering situation. What I am going to do here is use this spread to specifically track how many time blocks or Pomodoros, half an hour blocks that I use in each of my goal categories per day that I work. And I'm going to put in the days I'm doing dialysis. Because I do plan on this page here, just writing down how many time blocks I used in a day. But here I wanna break it down into categories just for the sake of, again, gathering knowledge and seeing where my time is going. But by having the dialysis time on here as well, that will help me see, okay, I was at dialysis training for X number of hours, and then I came home and did X number of other hours for these different tasks for work. So that's how I'm going to start this is set it up that way. And then maybe add in, I want to add in some doodling. I don't imagine I'm going to use this spread for much of anything else. So there is a little room for a quote. And what I decided for this year is that any quotes I pull each month to use to highlight my pages or whatever are going to come from one of my favorite musicals. Last year, I did one of my favorite bands. This year, I'm going to do one of my favorite musicals. And so for January, because it's my birthday month, I'm going to do Rent because Rent has been one of my favorites for a long time and I've actually seen it on my birthday. So one of the three times I've seen it on stage, not that I'm bragging, although I kind of am. So first and foremost... I think what I want to do, I can make the assumption that I will be doing dialysis training through the end of January because they said three to five weeks is the usual amount of time, but they don't send you home until you're done. And so what I think I want to do first is I'm just going to put these dot colors here because I am going to use these on this spread as well. And what I want to do is I want to see which of these three highlighter colors I think is going to look the prettiest with these three dots. And I think it's going to be that center blue. Is it you? Yeah. Okay. Now we got to let those dry for a second. This one feels like jelly, 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 jelly. And yes, don't worry. Jellies will be on my list of, of, uh, situations that the patrons can vote for. So if you want to have a say in it, like what I do is I pop up a thing every month with like the color inspiration and a potential doodle, but then I also like make them available in case you want to do them yourself. So there is that. Anyway, so I'm gonna take this blue and the first thing I'm gonna do is highlight the bottom of each box so that I can write in the number of hours I am at dialysis each day. It's gonna start on the week of the ninth. And it's a Monday start. I'm just reminding myself of these things. The other thing I'm going to do, oh wait, I still have the rest of the week. Dialysis is going for more than just the first three days of the week. And already I'm going to give you a quick update on these highlighters that while they write beautifully, these fucking caps do not stick to the end of them. So just be forewarned. Okay, through Friday, so two days. Okay, so that is for dialysis. And I'm going to use this down here as like a key. So we'll use this for dialysis. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green 
and I'm going to draw through all of the days that I have told myself I am not going to work. That doesn't mean that I am going, I'm not going to work on those days. However, I want to, that's another thing that I want to track is, okay, if I say these are the days I want to take off of work, then did I? (laughs) So I'm taking this Sunday off. I'm just going to do a quick line like this. So I normally work on Sundays, but I'm taking Sunday the first off because it's a holiday and I'm taking this weekend off because I'm doing a three day weekend every month. And this is the one before my birthday. So basically those are my off days. But again, I'm leaving space just in case I put in, I do actually do some work on those days. That's something I want to track because there's a number of times I'm like, I want to be, take these days off. And then I don't. And then we'll add in the dots here. And what I'm going to do is on the work days, I am going to go ahead and already put the three dots down and then if it's a non-work day, I will go and I will add dots if I do work on those days. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna assume I'm gonna work on those days. And I don't know how well you can see these things on camera. I am using very pale colors right now. I can see them. And that's all that fucking matters, right? And there's my little key down here at the bottom. Which I will just quickly draw a line down for. And now I'm gonna go dot on my alleged work days, all three of these colors. other thing I wound up doing was creating this little total section. So I have the dots to add up the number of Pomodoros or time blocks I used for each goal over the course of the month in each area. And then the number of hours, time blocks, however I want to put it for dialysis here and um, the number of days I actually took off. So now that I've done that, I do want to add a little bit of embellishment to this page. I'm thinking maybe just a skosh of this washi tape across here and then draw in my little Dumbo elephant. I want to keep saying Dumbo elephant. So I doodled the little little Dumbo octopus, made it a little pointier than I wanted to, but I kind of like how cute it is. And I did tuck it behind the calendar. And then when I was doing the lettering, I decided to use the quote from Rent, Will I lose my dignity? Will someone care? It's from a really gorgeous song, uh, but it's about AIDS patients. However, it's been, when I was thinking about Rent, I was originally going to put No Day But Today, but then I thought about that quote and I was like, this actually feels kind of what I like the dark side of what's been running through my head since going into kidney failure. And then after I finished lettering it, I realized I wanted to add a little something, but I knew my highlighters were a little chonky. So I went and grabbed a Tombow dual brush marker color 491 and used this tiny, the small end of it to add just a little bit. It's hard to see again on camera, but I can see it and I like it. So this is my monthly spread. This will be just now that it's decorated, all this is going to be used for is gathering information, which like I said, is one of my major goals for the quarter for work. Once we're done with the monthly spreads, then we go to the weeklies. And what I am going to do, I'm skipping this first week because it's not the start of the quarter. And I just wanted to start this year off on the page. I'm just going to take that same book dart that I had used to mark in where I was starting today and just pop it on here because this will be my start of the uh, my start of the week. Um, my start of the week. This will be the week I will start working on. I mean, when you're seeing this, I'll be in this week. But this is where I will begin my quarter. But I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm just going to do it when I get closer to the start of, like, when I actually set up for my week. I'm still not sure. This is definitely going to be a work in progress. I'm going to start with this very first page right here. I'm going to copy over the questions from the HB90 system for the weekly and the monthly reviews. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I have it in this book to reference at the end of every week and at the end of every month, rather than having to go dig out my planner, my 
my printed pages or my digital pages to get those review questions. I just want them all in one spot. So for the weekly review, there are five questions. And then for the monthly review, there are eight kind of prompts. And so I'm going to probably need to use both of these pages to get them all on there. I am going to start it by just uh, bordering the page with some washi tape because... Why not? And I'm going to use this one, this Amanda Rachel Lee washi tape. I mean, I picked this one for this month specifically because I thought it would look really nice with the other uh, with the other stuff that I picked. But also, it's really nice and neutral. So I think that that is for something that is going to be like utilized the whole year, not just in January. Having it be a little less like themed to how I'm doing January would probably be ideal. I have not quite gotten my mind around how to washi tape this planner yet without tearing the shit out of this flimsy ass paper. I'll be real with you. Or for not doing the thing I did in those other pages where I put the washi tape down and it like on these pages where I put the washi tape down, but like the way I put it down, it kind of makes the pages sort of seize up. I guess maybe I need to be gentler instead of going like fucking balls to the wall with it, but I'm not very gentle when it comes to my stuff. Just ask Jesse, it annoys the ever-loving shit out of him. It currently snowed about nine inches last night, very heavy snow, and I keep hearing it like land upon my, uh, land upon my roof, and it's a little stressful because we also had some branches break off, and while so far they've only sort of smacked the side of our house, you know, there's been a couple of close calls. I would really not want to call like a contractor to come deal with some of this shit today. So, or in the next week, I've got other things on my mind. Like, did I mention I'm starting dialysis? I don't think I've mentioned that 85 times. It's going to be my whole life. I'm going to be like one of those moms who has like a brand new baby and all they want to do is talk about their new baby. And people are like, okay, that's great. But like, has there anything else been going on besides child? And I, as this, I'm saying this as a parent, but like I'm recognized that nobody loves hearing about your new baby as much as you do. Except for maybe the grandmas. <laughs> All right. The funny thing is, it's kind of tri tripping me out here is I feel like the grid on the washi and the grid on the paper is very similar in size, but it's not lined up. Whatever. That won't bother me. I'm not going to have to look at this very often. I grabbed another one of these um, Aloha whatever markers, and I'm just going to use this to number. These aren't numbered in the HB90 system, by the way. I'm numbering them so that I don't have to repeat the questions when I do my weekly reviews. I'm just going to write one answer to answer. Doing this for my own sanity. <laughs> Got these little, and they're cloth and paper, maybe, flags. What I think I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue down on it and then use these to like, just write weekly and monthly reflections, like a header. Just using my Tombow, my Tombow tape, my Tombow tape runner, uh-oh. My Tombow desk, desk tape just fucking clean this bad boy and how is that crooked when i had lines i had lines weekly prompts and then we'll do the same whoops when you go take one fucking post-it and the whole thing comes off of like the post-it receptacle oh, i broke it too All right, I just wrote the first prompt and it was talking about rewards that you plan to give yourself. And part of me is like, maybe I should devote a page in here for potential non-purchasing rewards because I'm on no buy this year. And usually my reward when I accomplish something, like when I wrote my first book, I got myself a pair of teaks. But that's just probably me procrastinating. 
I'm not sure yet. Okay, so I had I thought I had eight prompts for February for the months. It's only six. I was going to try and squish one in here, but I realized four will fit pretty nicely here. So I widened it out. I'm just keeping you on track to see all of my random fuckery. All my weekly prompts, all my monthly prompts, and then I added in three other things to just do at the same time as when I do the monthly prompts, which is to fill in this, to make sure that this monthly tracker is full, to make sure that this tracker is full, and then to reconcile my finances in QuickBooks, like just to do them quick monthly finances. If I had really been thinking about it ahead of time, I would have made a list of weekly things here, but I really don't need to. That stuff just gets done. But the monthly stuff is something that both these two things are going to be new for this quarter and also... Uh, reconciling finances is something that I'm not as regular about as I should be. Let us do like what I want to do for the start of January. So I have been trying to figure out how I want to do this because I want to add in some more doodling, maybe add a quote. Practically, this is sort of the start of January and I am going to add the January tab from my tab stickers. I'm going to add the January tab to this as well. This is where my daily pages for January are going to start. Um, so practically, that's what the purpose of this is. Also practically, the other thing I want to incorporate onto this page is just a, like a written place to kind of keep my no buy. I have a $100 budget for buying things for review. And I just want to um, keep a spot for that as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is doing a little folding action and having this be one thing, like draw the Dumbo octopus and put January 2023 here and then open it up. And this will be where I have my like little register of things that I'm buying. Remember, if you watch my setup video, I was thinking about how I needed my bone folder. This is my bone folder. I'm just trying to fold it on the center little dot here. But this is why bone folders are nice. You can get a nice, sharp crease. See? You know, the Dumbo octopus is so fucking cute that I think I want to do bubble letters. Plus, it's my birthday month. It's my birthday. And bubble letters are my favorite. Okay, I just tore this motherfucker. This washi tape does not want to peel off nicely. I decided to add the washi tape to add color rather than adding color with the doodles, adding just color with the washi tape. Both in the, like, what I'm hoping this year is to do a slightly more, at least with the, like, the parts of the journal that I'm trying to be a little bit more, maybe artistic's not the word, but like a little bit more mixed media-esque in the hopes of adding a little pizzazz without necessarily needing to do as much. Oh, fuck. Why can't I get this fucking washi tape is making me sad. So sad. Both for the sense of um, wanting to. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Um, wanting to use up my shit and push myself a little out of my comfort zone. But see, basically, this gives me like a nice, neat little January. I didn't like the 2023, so I covered it up. But when I open it, here's a little bit of fun. And then this will be my 
purchasing register. All right, I did want to put something here on this bit. And so I wrote the two kind of focuses for this month are to gather information about how work fits into my life during dialysis training and begin my 2023 no buy and track any work purchases for my accountability. And then that tracker is going to go in here. I have a spot for whatever the purchase is. And then here's the hundred bucks and I will subtract whatever it cost and then have the running total here. And that's just gonna be my basic way. Like I have my accounting software, but this is kind of like, I wanna get everything on here so I'll have it easily available when I film that accountability video at the end of the month. The last thing that I wanna do is put my January tab on. And originally I was gonna put it on the cover page, but since the cover page is on the left-hand page, I'm going to just stick it here where the first daily page is going to be. And that daily page will be the second because I am not working on the first. And so by the time you see this, I hopefully will already be a few days into this. Let me know, wait, where's the year? So let me know um, if that's something you wanna see is daily plan with me. Where's that bone folder? Okay, that was a terrible job, but whatever. <laughs> Look at that. I'm feeling satisfied. Let me know in the comments below um, what are the planners you're using this year? Are you using anything that's surprising to you? This was kind of surprising to me. I did. I expected to be doing work uh, planning in just a standard, like I had a Hemlock and Oak notebook that I wound up giving away during my planner giveaways that was going to be my planner, but then this one took it over. And I'm just curious, I'm curious to know, did you get surprised by anything with your planners for this next year? And I definitely want to go back and give this another, another zap, I think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my friends, peace.